Welcome to Safi Max with another video on LaTeX. In this video, you will learn how to add and manipulate figures in your LaTeX document. In order to do it, let's first move to the document and learn which packages do we need for adding figures into the documents. So you see here I'm working in the document class article and I have added package graphics. It is this package that will enable us to add figures and manipulate them as we wish in the document. With graphics package enabled, the figure can be added into the documents under figure environments. As you see over here, I have added the figure environments by begin figure and end figure. After begin figure, I have included square brackets within which I have written H. You can write H, T or P where S stands for here, T for top and B for bottom. That is if you want to put the figure at the position where you added inside the document you have to add H here. You ask you ask LaTeX to put the figure at this position. If you put T over here, you ask LaTeX to put the figure on the top of the page and the same for B, B put the figure at the bottom of the page. Then I'm adding label figure 1, so this is the key to the figure. Wherever I want to refer to this figure, I would just add this key and the LaTeX would now put the number of this figure in the document. Then I added, added centering. This command put the figure with equal margin at, uh, at the left and right of the page and put the figure at the center of the page. The figure is added through include graphics. This command include graphics enable LaTeX to add the figure into the documents. I am adding scale with square brackets with a number 0 0.1. So this defines the size of your figure. You can change this number to increase or decrease the size of the number. And then inside the curly braces, I'm putting the name of the figure. So pick two is in fact the name of uh, figure I want to add to the document. And this figure must lies within the folder in which your text document exists. So I am adding the figure with EPS extension. You can add the figure with the JPG extension, PNG extension, and with PDF extension. However, those figures, however, the DVI of the LaTeX will not produce those figures correctly. In order to avoid these issues, I always suggest to use the EPS figure. All the formats of figures, PNG, JPG, PDF can be converted into EPS by using different softwares. However, that is not the part of this video and I will not talk about that. Nevertheless, I would suggest you to always use EPS extension of your figure. And then I'm adding the caption at the end the caption the two naughty brothers and then and figure it. I'm referring to this figure by adding the key within the text into the arguments of the reference command. If I build a document you will see the figure will be added into the document. Yes you see the figure over here. I can change the size of the figure by just changing this number. If I add this to 4 and build the document again, the size of the figure will be increased. Now you see it is right at the middle of the page with equal margin at this side and at this side of the page. So you can change the size of the figure by just adjusting the scale. And you see this, the figure is labeled with one and I'm referring to that figure inside the text by just adding the key in figure one. If I change the H to T, the figure will be shifted to the top of the page. Building the figure and watching it, you will see the figure is now shifted to the top of the, of the page. So this way you can manipulate figure within your LaTeX document. Now let us add two figures side by side. In order to add two figures side by sides, in addition to graphics, 
package and another package called subfix should be activated within the document. Now with the graphics package and subfix package activated, we can add figures side by side under the figure environment. And let me do this. You see, again, here I have added the figure uh, environment, the same centering. The centering will put the figures at the center of the page with equal margin at either side, but I have added an addition command, subfloat. And within the argument of subfloat, you can add the uh, number, for example, if I put A over here, that A will be added, figure 1A, figure 2A, etc. But I'm leaving this blank at the moment. So uh, within the argument that is inside the curly bracket, I have to put the same command like before, uh, include graphics, then scale, then name of the picture, which is uh, in the EPS format. Then I'm labeling this figure separately with figure 1A. And here I'm adding a H space, 0.5 centimeter. This, this amount of space will separate the two figures, will add the separation between the two figures that I'm placing side by side. So this complete the figures, the, the first figure. And then I again add some fruits and it starts the second side figure and repeating the same command include graphic size name of the picture etc and then adding caption at the end and labeling the whole figure with figure one since i have already added figure one at this position therefore this is uh, not green which says that it is used twice so i'll change this to two now it is green, so this figure has a key fact too. If I build a document now and watch the DVI of the figure, you will see the two figures will be put side by side. Okay, yes, these are the two figures that are placed side by side. So this is label figure one. A and this is labeled figure B and the whole figure is labeled as figure 2. This way you can change, uh, you can add figures side by side. I hope this video will help you in adding figures in your LaTeX document. Good luck to you. If you haven't subscribed to Mixed, don't forget to click the subscribe button.